So models that ignore clamping see a single equilibrium price, maybe plus or minus some fees. But with clamping, it's not a point, it's an interval. Precisely. And that leads the paper to derive these new, more accurate, no arbitrage bounds. The price limits where theoretically risk-free profit is possible outside them, but not inside. Right. And by factoring in both the clamping function and transaction fees, they calculate these new, wider bounds for that perpetual to spot price ratio. And here's a really wild part of their theory. Even if you imagine zero transaction fees, the clamping function by itself is enough to create an interval for the no arbitrage bounds. It's not just fees widening a point. The clamp fundamentally creates a range where the price can sit without triggering arbitrage based on funding flows. That's a key insight. The clamp itself changes the equilibrium. So what determines how wide these new bounds are? Well, logically, it depends on a few things. The clamping factor, eta itself, how big is that dead zone? Bigger eta, wider bounds. Makes sense. Then, obviously, transaction fees, spot mm -hmm. fees, futures fees, Kia and their math. Every basis point eats into potential arbitrage profit. So higher fees also mean wider bounds. Correct. And finally, the relevant interest rates. The cost of holding or borrowing the assets involved, like USD or the crypto itself, RTRC or NOR. RC. Okay, so clamp size, fees, interest rates all contribute to how much the price can deviate before a real arbitrage opportunity opens up according to this new model.